We cried, we cried terribly when they locked him up. We cried for all the people that stood with him that went to Robben Island. My whole family, we were so upset and we cried. We cried while he was on Robben Island. Every prayer we did, we cried for him because it was a very brave thing that he did to stand for a country. And when he was locked up and all the news that came about him and the way they treated them in the jail and everything, every time we had sad news, it was a crying thing. The day he was released, everybody again burst out crying because of happiness and gladness, this man is released. Not thinking that when Mandela is freed, we will still be crying today. He is freed now. And we are so happy that he's freed. And we cried and we really thought we're going to stop crying when he comes out. But today we are even crying more because we are now behind iron bars and iron doors and iron windows which I think it's so unfair. We should be free and be able to explore the wonderful, beautiful world that God has given us. We can't walk in the park. We can't stand on our stoop at night. We can do nothing. So unfair. So all I want is a little fairness to get rid of that we can enjoy and be free in this beautiful country that God has given us. It's so beautiful and we can all live like sisters and brothers. Why? Why must we be behind iron bars? I'd like to know. Se, se pana songe, se pana songe, se pana songe, se pana songe. Song, yeah. Song, yeah. Song, yeah. Song, yeah. Song, yeah. 